Hello everyone, Tor from State 267 here again, and I wanted to, to in light of our weekly heist events, uh, highlight some of the strategy here and best practices using an example, using a, a real life game. So this is one of my worst Arthurtain heist events ever. I was able to still come out with the first place victory, but you'll notice compared to all of my others, the points I scored was much was much lower. Made a ton of mistakes, and uh, I've been I promised a few people this type of video where I I commentate on those mistakes, what I'm saying, my facial expressions, you name it, and and this is it. So, uh, hope you enjoy. If you have any questions, like always, just shoot me a message on Discord or in game. And I'm going to be pretty harsh on myself here. Now, uh, I'll try to call out any, any elements where it just won't make sense for you to apply the same strategy. And maybe at the end, I'll also speak to a couple of different strategies that you could come across. Hope you enjoy. So this is right before we're starting. I always get a little anxious entering. It's like, what if I lose? That wasn't funny. For me, not being in first is losing, basically, at this point. Here, just looking around for the right spot to hop to, which makes sense. And do your pre-game plan here, you want to have a good idea of what you want to do, where you want to go, what you want to hold, and they give you over two minutes to do this. You want to look for a spot with good mob counts and understand what you are strong enough to hold. For me, obviously, level threes are the way to go. Looks like I've found my resting place, huh? And I say that because it's not good. You might as well have just killed me. So, here, some of those things that I said was right, and some of them were not so right. As far as the points for the mobs, yes, that's the bottom, that's, that's going to be on the bottom path of your abilities. I don't think I did that in this game, which makes me think, even more so, you are a complete moron. And if that's the case, then yes, farming mobs can get you some points if you have weaker marches that won't work. Say marches 5-6 throughout the game. Incrementally, across 30 minutes, it can add up. But if you have enough strength to be able to hold mines or to go after those temporaries with other marches, then you want to you wanna do that instead, instead of just farming the zombies. But don't just keep hitting mobs even after you've maxed your abilities if you haven't unlocked the one that's going to give you gas per zombie hit. I've also since changed my mindset on how many marches you, you leave open and when you're going after the, the temporary mines that open up. 
And I would recommend now that that is three to four marshes that you free up to go after those because those can swing the points. Absolutely swing the points. I am right about activating the gun right away. Okay. I probably should have waited and seeing all these people port to this area. I'm just going buck wild. Now I'm initially going to win all the mar the first marches because I'm the strongest, but there's too much happening here and I'm not keeping up well. I, I already know I'm not keeping up well. See, I've already lost my first march if that's happening. Should have recognized that because it's kicking all my resonate heroes out. And that's when I should pay attention. Who's going where and what when I see that red attack symbol. And look at all these fails. Despite the stats, I'm being doubled out and don't even realize it. So this is what I'm reduced to. And I'm not paying attention. What, what are you doing? This is where I believe I could just win with raw strength just caveman my way through oh yeah no crap chill out is an understatement here i'm now down to look at this that's the generation of heroes i'm down to it's so painful to watch I tend to focus in on this. I play off of my tablet, everyone. Mirror my screen. Many of many of those who keep up with me know this. That's why I'm I have a I'm looking slightly down. There is a PC version now that I might give a shot. Don't know how I feel about playing with the mouse. But here once again, I'm not paying attention to where that attack's coming from. You notice the returning? I could have pulled that march. I should have been pulling a lot of these marches and playing this game the right way. I'm using marches with Ray and Rolex. What am I thinking right now? Like, what is happening? So in my head, I'm thinking, I'm really sucking right now and this is my first one that I've live streamed so I'm sweating you can't see it but I'm sweating all right finally look at me deciding to make a move that should have happened three minutes ago I don't and blind firing in like that's reckless that should have been a recon first, just in case. Don't underestimate. Just because you see a P9 versus P10, don't underestimate them. Yeah, get them lucky. Okay, so this is the first thing I've done right, is move. Look at that level two just hanging out there. And that other level two. I've not even unlocked my first ability. Within the first 10 minutes, I would say you should be maxed on your abilities. Now I'm starting to realize it. Look at that. Still not, still not mining enough. Okay, I did go bottom track at least, where I get points for the zombies. <laughs> Okay, yes. Ah, uh, marches without a third hero. Once again, what a genius comment. This is fun, making fun of yourself. All right, well, at least I'm accelerating abilities. I have no strategy here. I might as well just be flipping a coin. Because of the way I play now, I do like to go top track because 
There's one where people argue going bottom in the 30% reduction on hero cooldown. I'm really smart with hero management, so I don't I don't believe I need that. But if you like that, go for it. I think it's the fourth ability you can unlock. Don't hold me to that. There is the first march. Confident that will take. I still have. That's my. The first one that I've been gathering. Alright. And this is where I'm just. So th that's okay, probably, that I didn't pull on first because that was almost healed. Why would I send that? Why would I send that? 60 seconds, level one opens. If anything, I get lucky on the temporaries because I have so many marches open because I suck right now. There is no mining management. I'm considering going level two at this moment, I imagine, because I'm embarrassing myself. Yeah, I get it. So once again, someone going after my first mark. Now it's a fully healed march, so like I said earlier, I wouldn't pull that today. I'm very confident my first march will outmatch most 99% of the people in the game right now. 10 seconds, I should be ready. Like, I know, it, that, that doesn't, <laughs> that's pretty funny. I'm gonna go mine when that's gonna open up. Pure genius. Okay, and I'm just gonna take one. Just one, that's okay. Still behind on abilities. Not looking for mobs. Not paying attention. Level two, just sitting there. Finally, thank you. Oh, all my marches were out. Look at this thing, just hanging out. Look, two unoccupied. Ooh, this game is pissing me off. If only we had that redo button, huh? I've learned so much since this fight. Okay, glad that worked out. I have to get my abilities up. You notice at this point I haven't checked the rankings because I'm terrified it's going to say I'm in like 100th place out of 332. One thing I forget is that in those giant clusters at the beginning where there's three or four people going after all the same mines, they're not collecting a lot of points either. And they generally tend to be the top players within the fight. But it is a distraction by keeping up with the rank too much. You'll notice in a lot of future games that I'll end up streaming, I won't even check the ranks. Because in 30 minutes, everyone, you have to be so active. You have to manage your, your mind. You have to keep an eye on who's attacking what. You have to manage mobs, your abilities. Taking five seconds, 10 seconds to review the ranks, that doesn't help you. Like, is it gonna change how you play? Probably not. Okay, that's where the, the muscle's coming in. But I should have pulled, I should have pulled more marches. I can also be a little better about swapping marches. Once someone leaves your marches alone, everyone, you don't have to leave your strongest march and your second strongest march in there. 
People don't aggressively recon here, there's just not enough time. So they don't know unless they're specifically watching your screen, your, your area, whenever you're swapping marches. So that way you can use marches one and two to continue to kick people out, to win the temporary mine battle. And that's a smart tactic. So I found some stability here. I'm feeling a little better, still thinking I'm way behind. And there, I'm just, why, I mean, there was no reason to not pull. If you see a double march, everyone coming at you, and it's one of your stronger marches, the chances of that surviving are pretty low, depending on the player and the stats, of course. But there, I had no reason, I was very close to that mine. There was no reason not to pull that march and to not be reduced to using these type of heroes. You have two first marches, everyone. You have the resonate version and you have the unresonated version. Once your resonate version is killed or put on cooldown, then you will automatically be sending your first march of unresonated highest generation and strength heroes. So if you mess one up, don't get discouraged you still have a second first march to compete with. But you have to think, if you throw them away too too often and too soon on five minute refreshes, you are going to be behind overall in the game. 15 minutes in and I don't have my abilities unlocked. I should have already activated the damage boosting ability, which is the last on the top right, of the ability tree, I could have activated that probably or at least once, maybe twice by this point, depending on how quickly I would have unlocked it. And that gives you a 66% increase in stats across the board. And you're talking about my stats on top of that. It's it is unsettling when you run into those type of stats. But instead, you know, I'm just gonna wait till past 15 minutes, not even have my abilities unlocked. Just do nothing with this one. There we go. And that is a valid strategy as well, everyone. Let's say you're not strong enough to be super aggressive, like what's about to happen with that ability. I don't go bottom, do I? Okay. I did do the heroes here. See, I'm, I didn't... I, that made sense, having the hero refresh here, the way I'm playing. Although I think I do get a little smarter. One of the other strategies, instead of the one I'm talking about, where being aggressive, swapping, swapping, protecting your heroes, going after the temporaries, is a more passive one, if you don't feel like you can hold the center very well. And in order to be aggressive, you have to get some points in the center. A, a secondary strategy would be just continue to mine. Go bottom track, for the most part. Watch my face. Yeah. No kidding. I'm surprised too, watching this nightmare of a game. I should just stop talking. That is not, that is not why I'm catching up. I've since changed my mindset. But if you just manage it better, you don't have to worry about it. That's smart. Watch for the lines. And then my guy knocks him out. Oh, look at, listen to me. I sound so proud that I'm getting a little, little, a few of these things right. What a cocky, cocky guy. Jeez, go work out. Look at those underdeveloped shoulders. 
pretty soon, and I'm not sure, I might, I might go all in and stay here, I might come here. Well, I, you can still do that and be smart about gathering on the outskirts. The thought process there makes sense. I'll give myself that one. Ugh. What an idiot. That was pre changes to Arthur Tain Heist. That was like in PTR and the, all the trial runs. Abilities weren't even in the previous one. But I'm I'm trying to compare. It's comparing apples and oranges. Some of the things that are coming out of my mouth, everyone. If I could go back in time, I'd slap myself. Or I just wouldn't be streaming this, and I'd be sulking in my own shame. Okay. Here, this is about what it would look like for me today, minus that 6 March. I probably would have used that 6 March to go after level 2 and be holding all, because I wouldn't, I wouldn't still be hitting zombie mobs right now, because I don't go that route anymore at the points. But now, this is where I should have pulled at this moment. I should have already have pulled two more marches, and I should have three going after temporary. I should have pulled my first and second strongest marches that are just sitting there gathering in level threes, swapped them with my weaker marches, and then I should have at least three to four going after these temporary mines. It makes such a difference, everyone. I've offered coaching and help to someone before who didn't believe in that. They tried it, and then they ended up ranking in the top five. It was their best fight ever. These cannot be ignored. If you think... No one's messing with you and you're just going to sit there in your level 3s and level 2s and farm and ignore those, you will be leapfrogged. I've been in games where I've been ranked in probably number 4, number 3, before those open, and then after, I'm 50,000 points ahead in first. Similar to what that looks like, which still to this day shocks me. So level 2s are opening up. Still only have one available march. Now one of them was in a temporary, so fair enough. But at least I'm moving around the way I need to be. Except I'm not thinking about center. Which is either open or really close. Okay, that's good. Always clicking. You want to think, how, how many times am I clicking in this game? Okay, just not, just not going to collect the little things. Okay, thank you. Oh, great. Good, good. Like I said, I have found some stability at this point. I'm in a decent spot, but I could, and I know I'm thinking at this moment, if I don't do well in the center, that the second and third place slots could potentially hop over me. And now that's where I'm starting to worry. Now this is where, okay, first march goes in. Have you noticed something, everyone? Why didn't I activate my ability? Unbelievable. And then look, I just ignore it. I absolutely ignore what I sent to the... So this is this is poor multitasking right here. I'm just gonna, not going to do anything. I should have my first march available still. It's just not going to be Resonate Heroes. A 
Well, Kenny gave me the boot there. I should not be sending the first march there. And then look, look how completely opposite that is. I still haven't activated my ability. What's the point? Ooh. Look, that's the, the look of frustration. Gotta get back. Oh, Kenny, giving me a rough time here. Yeah, let's go ahead and send the fourth march. Let's see what happens. Let's not be smart. Now that one seems, now they're gonna struggle to take that first one out. I'm okay with that. Although it shouldn't be there. All right, here's where if people leave me alone and I stop seeing red, but there's a little bit. Hmm, <laughs> got the second. Five minutes and I have to be worried when you look. So that split and then you get for the center. Not doing so hot. $30,000 or th dollar. Wow. 30,000 point split and the person in center, then the person who's in, who's in second is holding the center for first place right now. And I have no idea at this point what you get. See, wallop. If you are the number one rank in the center at the end of the game. I don't know how many points that is. But what I failed to realize was that any rank within the top 10 gives you a pretty good chunk of gas and that it closes that split. So if, if you get 100,000 for first in the center and you get 10th, but 10th gives you 40, it's a 60K point difference instead. You just have to be mindful. But for aggressive top players, you want to be smart about the center and the same strategy, the pool strategy and protecting your marches. You always protect marches one and two. That strategy does apply in the center. It just takes you a little longer to get your march back. But think about it. If you send it in, your first march, like your first resonate march, you send it in, count how many seconds, if you want to do it this way, before it gets the boot. And then on march number two, count to count to the same, but a few seconds short, pull the march and then resend it. And instead of waiting five minutes for your heroes to reset, you're only waiting a couple of seconds, maybe 20, 30 seconds, and then you can send it back, but you're collecting, accumulating another. For me, it's on average about anywhere in the seven to 10 second range. Last time, my last game last week, I was first going into the center opening and I was first in the center by being smart and pulling my marches. I'd love to share that game with you all, but I'm not very smart and forgot to record it. See how tight that is? Then I'm gonna look at the leaderboard in the center, I imagine, once it stops glitching. Yeah, see I'm ranked six and I'm in I'm incre yeah, you do. I'm increasingly getting nervous about losing at the very end. I gave up I gave up way too much at the beginning. The momentum, the discouragement. Part of this was luck. You should have lost this. You should have. And of course, losing is a relative term. Me getting second, others would consider not losing. But like I said at the very beginning of the video, everyone, if it's not first, I count it as a loss. 
So there I had a march get kicked out. I should have been paying attention somewhere. Only gathering with two. This is where I see a lot of big players making mistakes. Is that they just have... Why don't you have marches doing something? What about me sending to zombie mobs right now to incrementally close the gap? So look at that quick boot there. I'm just not being smart with all of my resources and capabilities right now. I have three marches. So one's always going to be locked for center. I have two other marches doing nothing. Even if I can't hold level threes near me, why not zip them towards level ones, level twos? I don't, but it's dang close. Closer than a lot of my games as far as the split at the end of this 30 seconds. Watch the face. Alright, and that's where I'm getting some congratulations. That's where I'm sure some people are just as surprised. There actually was a decent amount of viewers at this time, but uh, that's just a, a Kind of my thoughts there, everyone breaking it down. Tons of mistakes. Only reason I even was able to get first and I was able to recover is because of just raw, pure strength. My my stats, my heroes, everything compared to the forum of players, to the collection of players that were in that particular server with me. If there had been someone else who was utilizing and practicing the same tactics that I just talked about, I would not have gotten first in that game. Uh, there's there's no way, and um, if you if you look at the the point splits, which isn't important here, but this was the by far me winning first compared to second was the lowest split out of any game I've had, and I'm nine and zero right now for first place victories in Argentine Heights, and I'm hoping and I'll be live streaming it everyone tomorrow. Uh, well, tomorrow would be my 13th, and at reset, close after, if everything holds true to the schedule, we'll have another Argentine Heist event. It'll be 2 UTC for me. That's always my time slot because that's very very convenient for my, my schedule, and I'm hoping to be 10-0. and 0. But uh, I do hope that some of the commentary here and, and the fun jabs and everything, that, that was helpful. Uh, like always, I'm open to helping anyone. I think there in the video you can see it's streaming across as far as Discord. If you add me on Discord, then I will be more than happy to answer any questions and even potentially do a live coaching session with you. I'm happy to jump on Discord if you know how to stream and, and I can actually coach you through live some of what's going on and give you my perspective and thoughts. But uh, that's that I leave up to you. And it, of course, is going to depend on my, my schedule and depend on what I have going on. Um, we got a lot of different time zones that are covered here in the game. Uh, like I said, hope you enjoyed everything. Thank you for watching. I really appreciate it and all the support. And uh, good luck in your next fight.